friends? If you're sitting with me right now, that means you want some more practice with your phonics rules, and that's totally great because the more you practice, the more they'll just be rote memorization in your head and you won't even have to think of it. Then reading will become much easier, typically. All right, so we're gonna get started with some very basic review. So here's the alphabet, as you all know. Um, you can see here that the vowels are in red, A, E, I, O, U, are all in red. Um, all the rest of the letters, except for Y, are in black, and those are consonants. So D, C, or B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, and Z. Y is in purple because it is an irregular, it's an irregular letter. So sometimes it functions as a vowel and sometimes it functions as a consonant. All I know is that it's irregular. Okay, so to really get what we're digging into today, you guys really need to know your vowels. So A, E, I, O, and U are your vowels. You need to have those memorized. So today we're going to be learning about the I sound. When to use the soft, the um, short I sound and when to use the long I sound. So, like the other vowels that we've been learning so far, this keeps to a similar pattern. If the I is all by itself in the word, only with consonants and no other vowels, then it's going to be the short sound, I. However, the long I sound, I, However, the long I sound, I, in keeping with the pattern, you'll recognize when to use it when the I is with another vowel in the word, usually the letter E at the end. So it'll typically be an I in the middle and then some consonants and then an E at the end. So if once again, if the I is alone in the word with no other vowels, then you know it's going to be the short I sound, I. However, if it is not alone in the wor word with vowels, and then you see a vowel at, especially at the end, that's how you know that it will be the long I sound, I. Here's an example. Here is the short I sound, I, t. You know that it's going to be the short I sound because you see that there's only an F and a T in this word with the I. It's alone with the consonants, so that's going to be the short I sound. Here's an example, lift, so I, I, that's the short I sound. However, if you look below and you see I, F, which is a consonant, oh, but then there's another vowel here at the end, E. So then you know it's going to be the long I sound, I, F, I, F, like in the word life. Do we see the difference here? In the short I, you only see one vowel in the whole word. However, in the long I, you see typically an E at the end, but you know that the I is not by itself with the consonants. If you need to continue going over the phonics rules, that's totally okay. You can keep rewinding, rewinding, rewinding the video as many times as you need to understand. Um, but something that's kind of easy about what we've been doing so far is that all the short and long sounds have been following a pattern. You know that it's going to be a short vowel sound when it's alone in the word with consonants, and you know that it's going to be a long vowel sound when there's an E at the end, or when it's not alone with the consonants, when there's another vowel in the word as well. 
Right now we're going to be doing flashcards of the long and short eye. So I'm going to hold up a card and give you guys a second to say what you think it is out loud and then I will tell you the answer. Okay. I, V, E. What do we think that is? Long I. That's right. So this would be I've. Like in the words dive, hive, drive, and thrive. I T in this one. What do we think? What what sound do we think this makes here? Short I sound. Yes. It. It. That's the short I. It. Like in the word fit or quit or kit or split. What about this one? I R E. I R E. Yes, that's right. That's going to be the long I sound. Ire. Like in the word fire or higher. Good job, guys. What about this one? I P. I P. Is there another? Is there another vowel there? No? That's how you know it's going to be the short I sound. Ip. Like in rip or skip. Good job, guys. I'm going to get a little faster now. What do you think? I N K. That's right. Short I sound. Ink. Like drink or pink. What is this one guys? I E S. This one's a little tricky but if you remember your rules you see that there's I E S. E is also a vowel, so we know that I is not alone in the word with the consonants. So, it's going to be the long I sound. Eyes, like skies or ties. What about this? I F T. I F T. That's right, guys, it's going to be the short. I sound ift, like lift or shift. Last one, I N G. This is a common, common suffix. I N G. What do you think it is? Well, I can tell you that it's alone. The I is alone in the word with no more vowels. So, yes, you know that that means that is the short I sound. Ing like king or sing. Great job, guys. Okay, like the rules, feel free to rewind and go through the flashcards again if you need a little bit more practice. But now we're gonna move on to the last part, which is a short story about the short eye sound. SpongeBob and the short eye. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's called In A Fix. In A Fix. What is this big thing in your sink? asked Spongebob. It is a strainer, said Squidward. Feel free to borrow it and leave. This is a great day. Oh, wait, no. This is great for jellyfishing, said Patrick. It was nice of Squidward to let us use it, said SpongeBob. Are we noticing the short I sounds? Pay attention, see if you can notice when there's gonna be a short I sound. Patrick slipped, then tripped. He missed the jellyfish and hit the ground. Wow, there was a lot of short eyes. 
Patrick slipped, tripped, missed, fish, and hit. Those are all the short I sounds. Oh no. Happened clams. It ripped a bit, said SpongeBob. How can we fix it? asked Patrick. Oh, SpongeBob looks really confident there. We will fix it with a hammer, said SpongeBob. We will hit it just like this. Smash! We did not catch any jellyfish, but it was nice of you to let us use this, Patrick told Squidward. How did you fix it? asked Squidward. I gave it to you broken. Oh, it was no big deal, said SpongeBob. We are good at fixing things. Hey, Squidward, cried SpongeBob. We will fix up your whole house if you want. Do you think Squidward wants that? No, he wants SpongeBob to leave. All right, guys, that was the short I versus the long I sound. And for the first couple of videos, we're just doing the regular rules. Um, in a later video, we'll go over irregular, irregular rules, which are a little bit more complicated. But once you have the regular rules down pat, it'll be very easy. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the book. I hope you learned a little bit. And pay attention soon for a new video on... Oh.